But hi, welcome back everybody to the Nerdcore interview series where we interview various people from different departments uh, in the field of filmmaking. Um, lately, we covered the LAA uh, Pacific Film Festival. Uh, and today we have a special guest, uh, the makeup and hair depart- head of the department, uh, Donald Mowat. Hopefully I'm saying the last thing right. Uh, correct me if correct. I'm wrong. Oh, yes. Yeah, all right. Um, and yeah, it's a special treat because he was in charge of the Moon Knight uh, hair and makeup, as I said. Um, so welcome. This is uh, a show I do where I call it the Nerd Course 4 for 4, where I try to ask four questions and hopefully try to get four answers from my guests. Um, and just to get right into it, uh, I guess my first question is, since this is the first time I've had a guest be uh, outside of the director's seat, um, uh, could you give us a little insight of what exactly hair, makeup department, prosthetics and all that kind of do in, in the field, um, let alone on, on a TV show? Well, it's a big question. Um, <laughs> basically, you know, we sort of oversee for the studio and the director and the actors putting together, getting everybody camera ready, mm-hmm. uh, if you will, for the parts they're playing and you know fittings and camera tests and pre-production, the requirements for their looks. Gotcha. So Stephen and Mark for Moon Knight, making him, what's the difference? What, what's he gonna look like? Sweaty, dark circles under his eyes as, as Stephen, Mark's a little more put together, hair changes. Mm-hmm. He's got to change three times in a day. So we do a lot of like, the research and then the doubles we have to see all the stunt doubles and photo doubles and fit them for wigs so that they can do over the shoulder shots to match oscar perfectly so it's a lot it's very intense and Mm -hmm. we prep for about a month to two months before um and then the team is built up of like me and then hair and makeup people and special effects and we all work as a unit together Got you. Yeah. Uh, uh, now that you mentioned that you uh, kind of work on it a month or two before the actual production process goes on, um, we know that uh, Oscar Isaac's character, Mark Spector, uh, as well as Stephen uh, Grant and others, they have the origin of Jewish descent, right? And we have Layla, um, who is of Egyptian uh, descent. Uh, and, you know, there are certain attributes in everyone's culture that kind of distinguishes them to be associated to that culture and we see that uh, see their culture pop up a lot with their attributes and their hairstyle and their makeup choice uh throughout the series um so that was one thing we kind of wanted to ask here uh if it was a very like adamant thing to keep and not water down the attributes that one would have from that culture and kind of have them more pronounced. Cause I've seen a lot on the internet and I'm pretty sure you might have seen too, where there's a lot of people that feel represented throughout the series because of like having uh, Layla's hair, just her curliness, just kind of be flamboyant in the scenes yeah. and stuff. And like uh, having Mark's uh, uh, attributes from the Jewish uh, community uh, be done so subtly in the show. Um, was that a major part that you kind of uh, researched beforehand and kind of made sure like, okay, we, let's make sure not to kind of uh, water it down in a, a, a way of speaking? Well, yeah, because, well, Muhammad, one of our directors really wanted mm-hmm. to preserve a very unique, uh, authentic Egyptian contemporary mm-hmm. Cairo look for me. And, you know, that's Arabic hair, you know, it's it's naturally curly and that's what we kept and a mm. very natural makeup for her. And um, so that's what, that's what we did. Awesome. How do you feel about people like just saying they love that they were, are able to see themselves in it and that you were a part of that whole process that you made I, it possible? I love it. I just, I love it. I'm so happy to hear little kids and when they say, oh, that, you know, mommy, that girl looks like me. I love mm-hmm. it. I'm very proud of that. I think we had a very, um, not just diverse, I think a representational cast, a cast yeah. that looked like the world today. Mm-hmm. And that's very important to say because it's many different people. And uh, so it was important for us, my crew, all of us. Yeah. And yeah, I'm really happy about that. 
No, I'm glad. Um, so for my third question, uh, I just you know, like I said, this is your, uh, from what I can tell, because my editor and I kind of did some little snooping around your history to just kind of get a little more in feel of who you are as much as we could. Um, and uh, Moon Knight is your first streaming series, uh, at, at, let alone where you are, from my understanding, the head of the department there. Um, how was that experience compared to other films that you've done or other shows that you may have worked on um you know what it wasn't that different i mean there were different mm -hmm. you know little the whole streaming aspect i mean it was a newer crew i'd have to say there were uh it was younger i kind of love that aspect of it um, oh okay with three directors i like working with yeah. new. i like to mentor people i had a mm -hmm. some more people on my crew first timers newbies i liked working with those directors a lot um, had you yeah, it was good. It was cool. Yeah, that's good. Yeah. That's good. Um, that's surprising to see here that uh, it was it was younger crew and and like directors and stuff. That's uh, I haven't heard that much doing this for a while. Um, but for my last question, just to end and wrap it all up, um, so. I know there's a lot of different looks in the series, and that you probably aren't or couldn't choose one per se, but uh what was one favorite look that you may deep down subconsciously feel like is your favorite if your most favorite of the series that you've done or in worked with moon knight mm -hmm. in moon knight well i love episode five because episode five was all asylum and harold mm -hmm. and change up with the mustache and wig mm -hmm. oscar with the contact lenses you know uh looking really drugged like he was out of it with the mouth all droopy and yeah cotton up in his cheeks and i really kind of love that and may looking like a patient and we changed her up a bit yeah i, mm -hmm. like, I like that a lot. yeah cool i did uh now that you mentioned the the uh, asylum episode just one final question and that is sure. something that i wanted to ask was um harrow's uh costume designer like makeup and like the hair facial feature was it kind of looking like to you like j jonah jameson like uh uh from the spider-man series it doesn't have to be a oh, yes or no but i don't know i'm mean, honestly that i don't know i hmm, i don't know <laughs> okay i just that wanted I to ask because when i first saw him on the screen i was like why does he seem so familiar? And then I watched Spider-Man No Way Home and like the original Spider-Mans uh, with another friend. And it was like, oh, that's where I see the similarities. Um, but yeah, that, that was basically all my four questions that I had. Um, I know you have a busy day today. So that was basically it. And I appreciate your time and your and the chance to interview well, you for you. our show. Um, that has been basically it for this interview series and thank you everybody for watching and i'll catch you guys on the next one please make sure to check out moon Knight. all six episodes are already out and it's definitely worth the watch check out donald's work and it, it's such a great show and i love it um, i really appreciate that yeah of course really. thank you so much of course bye of course. bye thank you